folks, how you doing? This is Paul with my three-dimensional shirt on. I really do like the way this one looks, and if they have other colors, I'm gonna buy a couple more for myself. Um, I'm in the shade, and I know you can't see real well, but it's too hot for man or beast to go outside right now. Now look, we've got another Innova disc unboxing. It looks like there's about 10 discs in here, maybe 11, I don't know. But we're gonna check this out, and we're gonna see what's up with this. And um, they had promised that the first 100 people would get a discount coupon, and uh, that would be really nice. But uh, I looked at my last box and it didn't have it, so um, maybe it's just a come on to try to get you to buy stuff. Anyways, I opened it the wrong way, so I think we better open this the right way because that's the way it works. Um, it's got all the packing material on the top, and that's what I want to do. So let's make sure I can get this off here, and uh, only take another minute, and then uh, this will be done. So yeah, we better do this the right way. Okay, here we go, and then a little, just a little bit off the tape. And then I gotta get busy, because I gotta send out at least one box today to my wife, and I really like to send out two, but I don't know if I can afford to do it. I may have to anyway, I don't know. We'll see. Uh, uh, Innova uses that extra strong non-Dollar uh, Tree tape, I noticed. So, um, okay, here we go. And uh, let's see what these discs are, shall we? Let's have a look here. Okay. Let us take a look and see how Innova discs look. They, I've showed you many times, but they do come very nicely packaged. Uh, they are covered like that, and hopefully they will give me my discount coupon. That would be very nice, but I'm not going to hold my breath on it. Okay, here is the, uh, uh, the thing here, so we'll look at that later. Okay, what do we got here? All right, this looks like a small disc to me. It seems like it's very small. Uh, I don't know what it is. Let me measure it to another disc. All right, here's a 159 Thunderbird. Is this disc smaller? I don't know. Is that smaller? I can't really tell. Is that a smaller disc? I guess it's, it looks to me to be smaller. That's all I got to say about it. And uh, this is a, a beast. This is a beast. And obviously, uh, this is screwed up on the uh, print. So it's got it uh, double and triple stamped. So, um, this is a 10, 5, minus 2, minus 2. So, 10, 5, minus 2, minus 2. And, uh, folks, I have a feeling that we could go into Skylab launch with this thing right here. I like the way this feels already. Not to mean to point my finger at you, but in order to more stress the issue, I think we could get this into orbit you understand this one has a real light feel to it god this one feels really really good it is a 149 and uh by the size of it it just kind of feels very light to me it is not flippy uh boy i gotta tell you something i am in love with this beast and i think this is the one that they give you for free so 149 beast i'm not sure about that either by the way because I probably wouldn't have been too excited about a 10-speed disc, okay? So let's keep going. Okay, we've got an F2 in white. Of course, you know I hate this color. It's a 145, and this is a... Sorry, folks, i got to get my glasses. Or this will only become harder and harder as we go. Um, this is a... Oh, good grief. What is this? I can see the indentation, but it, they make this so hard... Um, I gotta get two pairs of glasses in order to be able to see this. So hang on. Um, if you don't have two sets of glasses and get five magnification, you're not gonna see it. Uh, this is a uh, May. What is that? Mamba? Is that a Mamba? M. Mamba. Okay. So this is a Mamba. It's a 145 Mamba. And folks, uh, take me to the moon. Okay, 145, um, take me to the moon. That's all I have to say. 
okay? Take me to the moon. I could do something with that. Okay, now, let's go ahead. I might need those glasses again. Now, this is my kind of, this is my kind of disc. The pink, uh, you could throw it into the thickest woods as long as it doesn't go in like this. Because if it goes in like this, it hides. You know what I mean? But if it's flat up like this, you're going to find it. This is, there's just no question about it. This is a pink disc. I, I know it's a, um, oh, it's got a little, um, what do they call that? Like a, a bead. I think this is called a bead. You see, like if you file this right here, it wouldn't be right. Because it's got like a little bead right here. So let's see what this is. It's a 161. Let's find out what this is, shall we? It is a mamba. So it's another mamba. Well, let's have a look at that white one and see if it's got the same little ridge. And it does. It has that same little bead on the bottom here. So like if I was to sand this, it, you'd have to sand this down right here because it's kind of sticking up like a ridge. All right. So we've got a 145 and a 161. Uh, this one, I could see some serious launching. But this little guy right here, this 145 mamba, we're talking... S, uh, throwing it in S's uh, flight patterns all day long, okay? And I've done it before. All right, let's have a look here. This is a blue disc. Um, I'm not crazy about these. These are kind of hard to find if you get them really. Um, right. Okay, this is a 168 uh, Mamba. And I'm glad I got these because... I had 170 and 172 class uh, exact number uh, Mambas because I bought them in a 170 to 172 class. So they came as 170s and 172s. I had them for months and I threw the shit out of them. And uh, they are a heavy disc, but somehow I'm able to manage the Mambas. So um, this is a 168 and uh, this is probably going to be the top of the heap. I don't want to go any higher than this if I don't have to. So there we have 168 Mamba. Do we have another 168 Mamba here? I'll bet you I do. Uh, this is a Mamba 168. And when it's the same color, uh, it's probably going to be the same one, right? So we got uh, two 168s. That's as high up as I want to go. 167 would have even been better. But since I throw those Mambas so well... Uh, at one eight, at what's one seventy and one seventy two, one sixty eight sounds like it might be the uh, the exact thing that we need. Now, what is this? Ooh, what is this? What did any of us send us now? What is this? Oh, it's a dragon. Uh, uh, look, I don't know anything about a dragon. I just used that dragon as the one that I showed you today, uh, folks. This thing is uh, feels like a toy. You know why? Because this one is not, this one is not fucking 175 grams or 180 grams. I'll weigh that thing later when I get the batteries into my scale. This is a 138, um, I guess it's a, uh, I guess it's a dragon. Oh, it floats in water too. That's nice. It floats in water. That's what it says. Anyway, floats in water. Now, folks. If I could express upon it to you, this is an idea. This is also a dragon. These are the same discs. Dragon, dragon. Um, this is an 8, 5, minus 2, minus 2. This is a 8, 5, minus 2, regular 2. Yes, okay, so that's right, It has because it's marked. Uh, fairway driver is what it says. And um, this one's a 138. I got this for my son because I'm telling you right now, I could launch this into space. This one is just ridiculous. Now, this guy right here was the one that I did. Do you know how much spin you have to have on a disc to make that kind of a chunk come out of it? Folks, are you feeling me? Are you feeling me? When you get good, you generate spin on this. And that includes kids. Kids do it too. But that right there is a strike. If I have ever seen one, my God, look at that. So 
138. This is going to my son. And uh, again, the dragon, I didn't know anything about this. It's not a dragon. It's not a dragon. It says Valkyrie. How do you like that? This says dragon. DX plastic floats in water. Fairway design. I don't think this floats in water. This is a 138 Valkyrie. So go figure. There was only one available. This is a factory second. So I don't know. Maybe they misstamped the disc. But very interesting, right? Uh, 138 my son is going to be launching this. He's going to make his first 300 foot throw, I think, with that. Let's have a look here. Now, we have a, a kind of a pea yellow, a weird kind of color. Let's find out what it is. It is a 161 uh, something here. What is that? You, you have to have like five power magnification to read this. It is a. It's not a Mamba, is it? It is a Firebird. So this is a 161 Firebird. And I got to tell you, that is an absolutely perfect weight for a Firebird. Because when you throw this, uh, it does not have a high glide. Um, this has got a low uh, number three glide, so it doesn't glide very well. But you can get some heat on this thing. And it goes. That's all I got to say. All right. So we got a 161 Firebird. This feels different already. Oh, I can't wait. All right. Uh, sorry, folks. I've, I've, uh, my box has fell and can't make its way up. This is a very unique disc. Look at it. Uh, and this is called a, um, and it's beautiful, really. It's really very pretty. It evidently is a factory second. Uh, it is a, it's a, it, the numbers are ridiculous. It's a one, two, minus four, zero. I've never even heard of anything like that. Um, it is light as a feather. And evidently this is a putter. So let's like, take a look at it. It is a 133, hence the light weight on it. Because 133 is very light, folks. Uh, so we, and it's called a... Um, let me read this. I forgot the name of it. It's got a funny little name. And I bought a couple of these. Uh, it is a... Um, I have to see what this is. HeroDiscus.com What in the world is that all about? Hero235 Hero Innova-06 It's got like a... It's got like a, 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 a snowman on it. An abominable, an abominable snowman. Um, I don't see any markings on this. And even with my large glasses here, I don't remember the name of this disc. I don't remember the name of it. What is the name of this thing? I don't know. Oh, Sonic? It's called Sonic. So I like it. Can you see the... It almost looks like the old Fastback Frisbees. There, it certainly has a thumb track on it, as you can see. And... Um, uh, I don't think this is going to be very good for distance, but I think that this is going to be, it's probably 100 foot or less because it is feather light. And um, it looks to me like it's going to be a putter. Uh, so um, let me take a look at it. All right. And evidently it's probably made to go to the right. So, and then uh, for the fade, there's zero fade. So figure it out for yourself. I don't know anything about this fish. Maybe we'll throw it over there just to see what it does. I can give you a demonstration. Okay. Oh, and doesn't this look like it's bigger? I think these are bigger. I think I got three of them. Yeah, that's it. I think I've got three. Don't these look bigger? Let's put it up against the other disc. Uh, we have a 134 and a 131. So we got a 130, 130, 131, 133, and a 134. So, um, these are very interesting indeed, the Sonic. And uh, this one doesn't say anything on it. This one doesn't say anything on it, but this one does. That one's got the Sonic uh, thing on there. So let's go ahead, putt and approach. Okay, you know what? Maybe if you're going into the wind, this thing might get you done. All right? It might get you done. So what are we going to do? Of course I'm going to throw it for you. Of course I am. 
I'm just not going to use the one that looks so pretty. We're going to use this one. And any of you that threw discs back in the late 70s and early 80s, you knew what the fastback was. And um, you can see that it kind of goes up like a flying saucer. You can kind of clearly see it here. So let's go ahead and I will throw it once uh, down over there. And we've got a heavy wind right now. So I'm going to go ahead and throw this um, just like a regular throw. I guess that's about right right there, isn't it? Uh, I'm going to go ahead and throw this. we got heavy wind right now, probably about 15 miles an hour. And then I'll throw it back toward the camera, okay? It's got a grippy texture. They are a little bit bendy. And uh, here we go. Can you see that little snowman on there? Uh, there's like a snowman. Where is it? Right here. Can you see that? It's got like a little snowman. It's like an abom abominable, abominable snowman. So I don't know what this is all about. Maybe this is made by somebody else and Innova puts its name on it. Here we go. I'm going to throw this with a little bit of heat so that it fights the wind and does, just doesn't fall out. Here we go. I'm going to try to throw it flat for you. Let's see what this thing does. This is the Sonic. And this is a 134. This is the heaviest of the bunch. Oh, I like it. Look at that. Wow, I like it. I like it. Did you see how that thing uh, hit with the wind? My goodness. And I mean, I, I thought I was going to, um, I thought it was going to flop right down on the ground with the heavy wind. It came right up and, and rode the wind currents. Man, that is wonderful. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and throw it back and we're going to call this a wrap, okay? Did you see how far that thing went? I can't find the camera. I see it's over there. I'm going in the wrong direction. Folks, did you see how far that thing went? It's unbelievable. And it went right against the wind. And it's got this blunt, blunt side. Folks, this gets Paul's double winner. Uh, because I threw it with the wind, it kept going. Didn't go down and drop like a rock. Now, maybe in heavier weights it might have. But boy, we may be looking at the one you throw with the wind. We may be. Folks, thank you for being with me. I am really intrigued by this Sonic. I may have to order more because this is going to be a cool little disc. I'm going to be playing around and fooling about with this thing. You can be sure. Take care. By the way, you can also play catch with it because uh, this has got a blunt... Uh, ridge, so it's not going to kill your hand or your arm if it strikes you. Later.